This tutorial is going to take you through numbers 23 and going forward for the company budget assignment. And you should have this company budget instruction sheet open. And then also make sure you have the budget template open. And you should have just finished number 22 where you colored in your sales worksheet. So I'm going to navigate back over to the company budget and I'm going to scroll down to number 23. So I'm going to do numbers 23 and 24 right now where I navigate to sheet 1 and I rename that sheet to budget. Make sure you spell it just like it has here with a capital B. So to do that I'm just going to highlight sheet 1 and I'm going to type in budget. Next, I'm going to go back to number 25, and it says to insert a header with student name. And our process for inserting a header is a little bit different here. Remember, the first thing we're going to need to do is go to View, and we're going to freeze one row. So we're going to freeze that top row to set it apart. So it creates this little break between row one and row two. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take A through N as in Nancy, and I am going to merge those cells. So I go to Format, and then I go down to Merge Cells, and I'm going to merge all of those. It will merge what I have highlighted. So you can see that those cell breaks have disappeared. And now to insert a header that looks nice, I'm going to make sure that I have it bolded and centered. Uh, but I'm going to make sure I'm in the whole thing. So I'm going to be centered. And I'm just going to type in my name there. So that my header on the budget matches the header that I have over here on the sales worksheet. So it looks uniform and, and nice. So that would be my first step, or my first few steps, I should say. I'm going to go down to number 26, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to label my chart so it has each of the 12 months listed. So it says in cell B3, type Jan for January, and then I'm going to use the fill handle to fill in the rest of the months. Now unless you've seen this, that might seem a little bit confusing, but I think this is a pretty handy tool. So in B3, so right up here, I'm just going to type in simply J-A-N. And it appears that your chart is previously configured to bold that. I'm going to click outside of that cell and back in it so that the fill handle appears right here. Now, Google Sheets is smart enough where if I drag this across here, it should fill in all 12 months. I stopped at M because B through M is 12, 12 cells across. I'm just going to release and you will see that it entered in all of those dates. I'm sorry, all of those months. Now it could be that you don't have enough columns here. You can add a column by simply right clicking, which is a double click for you. And you can go to, well actually I'm going to I'm going to do it a different way. I'm just going to go to insert and you can add column right and you can add as many columns as you need um, until you get there. Uh, if you would add too many you could just highlight the column and you could uh, delete that. So it'll give you some options right there. But You can add columns that way. I'm going to navigate back here and now I'm going to go down to the next page to page 3 and in N3 type total. So we're going to have a column for each month and then we're also going to have a total column. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that would uh, that would take us through what was that number 28. Now it's asking me to format row 4 to percent right here. So number, it's number 29 and I'm going to go over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just going to select row 4. We did this on the sales worksheet for columns. But if I select, if I just click right here, it selects all of row 4 right here. 
and I can format that to percent by just going right there to the percent sign. Now, anything that I add in to these columns will format to percent, which is going to be important when I start to multiply because it will automatically turn 8, for example, into 0 0.08 and so on and so forth. Um, it says if needed, format cells to have dollar signs and number 30. So down here, anything that we have is going to be dollar signs. I'm just going to wait because I'm going to see what my chart looks like. And if I need to do that for some of these rows, I can do that later fairly easily. So I would say for right now, skip number 30. Number 31 takes a little more explaining. Number 31 says insert the percent of business you will do each month, totaling 100% for the year. And in parentheses, I added that the holiday season may be a higher percent than the summer. So basically what we're going to want to do is in this row right here where we just formatted to percent, we're going to add in how much business we're going to do for each month of the year. And it needs to total 100. And to make sure that this totals 100, I'm going to click in cell N4 here. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to do a sum. And I'll tell you why in a minute. And what I'm going to sum is all of these percent cells. So I'm going to start with B4. And I know it's going to add up to zero right now, but as I start to add in percents, I want to make sure that I do this correctly so that I'm going to have 100% of my business. So I've now released my left click, and I'm going to press Enter after I've highlighted all of those month percents. And it's zero so far. But I'm going to start out by just going evenly across each of my months for percents. Now if I would divide 100 by 12, so 100% of my sales divided by 12 months is just over 8%. So I'm going to spread it out evenly to begin with and then we're going to adjust a little bit. So I'm going to put it in 8 right there. And then I'm just going to pull it over with the fill handle and because there's no formula in that cell it's just going to copy the number. So I see that if I spread out 8% over each month of the year that gets me to 96% but I have 4% left over. So I'm going to spread that 4% over November and December. Because the holiday season is a little bit stressful perhaps it would even increase the busyness of a counseling center. If you have a business that sells retail, you might want to go 7% for all of your other months and then up your November and December a little bit more. <clears throat> so if I up those both to 10, you just have to get it where it equals 100. You can go, you can put whatever numbers you want in your months, make sure it adds up to 100. All right, this is the way I would suggest doing it because it just saves a little bit of time. Then, number 32. Uh, we did that actually already. So, you have now done numbers 22 to 32. And for this tutorial, we're going to stop there. Um, I will have another one ready for numbers 33 to 43.